They had saw deliverance in warfare. They had saw people experience, like, for example, the closest picture we have to it is when David played the harp. And when David played the harp, we saw the spirit would depart from Saul while he was in the atmosphere of David's worship. And then once the worship was gone, the spirit would come and return back to him. So it was still not a full picture of the New Testament deliverance under the new covenant. And one reason why the deliverance ministry has authority to the degree that it does in the end times is that the authority that is exercised today in deliverance is found at the victory of the cross and resurrection of Jesus. And so it's very important to understand that in order to do uh, strong deliverance, we must come back to the reality of the cross and the resurrection of Jesus. In order to do mighty deliverance, to see mighty deliverance. Now, we have a term that I want to use. And, of course, I don't have time to go into a lot of detail like I would like. But with the, with the blood of Jesus that's shed, I want you to know and remember the word remission. I want you to remember this word because this is also a word that strengthens us in the deliverance ministry. It helps us understand something. Remember that in the old covenant, sins are covered. That term is not a New Testament term, though. Sin is not covered now. See, when Jesus went to the cross, when his blood was shed in seven different ways, that blood also dealt with all sin going all the way back to the original fall of man. That means it was all still there. It was just covered, meaning that through the Jewish sacrificial system, God chose not to look at it, but it was still there. It was covered. But under the new covenant, we have the remission of sins. That word remission means to no longer exist. Oh, my goodness. This is what the blood of Jesus does when we repent of our sin. Our sins are forgiven, but not only are they forgiven, in the mind of God, they do not exist. Oh, my goodness. This strips demons of power. This strips them of authority because the way that they gain authority is through open doors of sin. This is good. So, so remember... The remission of sins in the new covenant. Now, this also will help us not just in the deliverance, but even in our mentality towards our proximity to God, that we can draw close to him because of the blood. That, that because of the blood of Jesus, I do not have to have. That's why the Bible says the blood of bulls and goats did not deal with the conscience. The Bible says that our conscience is purged by the blood of Jesus. The guilt of sin is removed from us. That means in the old covenant, they lived with a permanent state of guilt, even though their sins were covered. They walked around with a consciousness of sin that they knew because the sin still existed. But under the new covenant, we don't have to live with that same mindset. That's why it says there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. So this also lets us know deliverance is a ministry of mercy. It's a ministry of mercy. So it's, so it's not a ministry that is uh, to, to simply judge what's wrong with individuals. It's a ministry that, that, that demonstrates the mercy and the love and the goodness of God. This also means that, that no matter where a person is in life, that the church is a safe place for them to experience deliverance. Because, because what, what you're going through what demons that have been present in people's lives and things like that, when they get free from them, it's okay because ministry is a, or deliverance is a love ministry. So remember this, that every time there's a deliverance, it, it, it further proves the victory of Christ's resurrection. It further proves God's dominion over Satan's kingdom. I love this. So when it comes to deliverance, what are some main things that I want to teach there? I, I know you guys already do deliverance here. And so I don't have to go all the way to the basics. But I want to talk about the realm of dreams as it relates to the deliverance ministry. 
I want to talk about the realm of dreams as it relates to the deliverance ministry. Now, I want everyone to, to hold on to this, this word, uh, and hold on to it closely, because your dreams are revealing the spiritual condition of your life. It's important to understand that your dreams are revealing the spiritual activity that is going on around you. So, so remember this, some dreams are God speaking. Some dreams can also be your spirit seeing what's going on in the spirit world. 